And um, what what do I win in the end? What do you want to win? I want to win a trip to Curacao. That you're gonna help me pay for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm douchey too, right? No, I'm douchey. No, I am douchey. We both are douchey. Okay. <laughs> What is the name of the only certified restaurant that is allowed to serve iguana? Is it A, Yanchi's? Is it B, Bubuchi? Is it C, Ana Iguana? <laughs> <laughs> this is my price, amigas. Look, this is what I want. Thank you, concept statement. I'm really happy with my price. And uh, yeah, I am God's child. So now from now on, I can buy child tickets when I go somewhere. <laughs> but actually, it is for a giveaway for you guys. It's for the Amigas, Benny. Yo, Amiga! Hey, Amiga! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It is... <laughs> <laughs> It is your girl Jennifer Ross and your boy Jennifer Ross Benny 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 and your boy Benny We are back with another video and today I thought it would be fun to do a little Curacao trivia I'm gonna ask Benny some questions and I must admit I didn't know all of the answers either but he is a pretty intelligent guy so I think he is gonna know a lot of the questions I don't know I feel like you really paid attention in history class the only thing i know about curacao is that it's an island okay and that jenny came from there oh okay well that is it so we're gonna get started it's a trivia ydk edition or curacao edition and make sure to give this video a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to my channel and stick around if you want to know about little facts you were doing that too so i'm doing it too Little facts about Curacao. Yes. All right. That you may or may not have known about. All right. Let's get started. I want to start off with a little disclaimer. All the information for this trivia I have found on the internet. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> I have found on the internet and I'm not 100% sure if everything is correct. If it's not, be kind about it. Let me know in the comments down below so we can all learn about it. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. This is not an official game. It's just questions that I have found on the internet and I made a little quiz for Benny. So yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's amigas. Go. Question number one. Question number one. We're going to start off with a little bonus question. A bonus question? But why can't I see those things? Because I have the answer on it as well. Ah, okay. You understand? All right. Name the name of the ABC Islands. Is it A? Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao. Is it B? Antigua, Bonaire, and Curacao. It's a. Aruba, <laughs> Bolivia, and Curacao. It's a. <laughs> First bonus question. So do I get points? Anything? Yes, you get points. You get points. And we'll put the points on the screen. And um, what what do I win in the end? What do you want to win? I want to win a trip to Curacao. That you're gonna help me pay for. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next question. Next question. The name Curacao, where does it come from? A, a drink. B, heart or center. Does it mean heart or center in some language? Or C, is it an island? And what is D? There's only A, B, and C in this question. Oh, because it's uh, Aruba, Bonera, Curacao. There's only A, B, C. All right. So, where does the name Curacao come from? Mm -hmm. So, where the, its origins? So, not because it's an island. So, that's gone. And what's A? A drink. And what's C? B, B? It means heart or center in another language. Heart like in Curacao. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a drink. It's it a drink. I would say B. B. Yes. Is it B? It is B. It comes from the Portuguese word Coração, which means heart, and it refers to the fact that Curacao used to be the heart slash center of trade. Of the slave trade. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. Yeah. That I knew. Yeah. 
and it was also a place where like the weaker slaves were left behind and they were miraculously uh, cured over time so very important part in history two where does the name Willem Willemstad come from? A. Holland. Oh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> Is it A? The people thought it was a fun name. B. After the first boat that got there during the slave time. What boat? Slavery time. The boat with the slaves on it. But where the the boat was from Portuguese, right? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Or is it C? After the Dutch governor. What is it? The people thought it was a fun name. <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> it. Is it B, after the first boat that got there with the slaves on it? I don't think that's it. Or because is if it it's, C after... If it's, I think it's C because if it's... If the Portuguese named the island Curaçao, mm -hmm. so that means that the first ship from there was a Portuguese ship. And I don't think there is a Portuguese person with the name Willem. And start is Dutch, so I think it's C. Okay, you're right. The city Willemstad was named after the Dutch governor Willem II van Oranje in 1626. Since Curaçao was conquered by the Dutch in 1634. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can still sit up. You must be a Jij raakt toch ook dingen aan? Kom op, kom op, kom op. Hey, rest toch, hè? Basta, basta. Abu basta. Abu basta. Why do you think all the buildings are colorful? A, because people loved color. B, because it resembles Amsterdam in the tropics. Is it C, for reflective purposes? What is B? What does it do about Amsterdam? Is it A, people loved the color? B, because it resembles Amsterdam in the tropics? Or is it C, for reflective purposes? I know that white, that the sun is very reflective on white. That's true. Um, I don't think it's Amsterdam colorful. People thought it was nice. Mm -hmm. When did they start doing it? I can't tell you that. I'm gonna go with B. B. Because it resembles Amsterdam in the tropics. I think so. Okay. Because it depends when they started doing it. Because some of those buildings do look like Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Or am I wrong? No, they do. They do, right? Mm -hmm. So that could be a good reason. I'm gonna say B. Even though I think it's C, but I'm going to say B. <laughs> Correct answer is C. Reflective, right? Yeah. At some point, the sitting governor mandated the buildings and houses to be painted in a different color, as the white was very reflective and bad for the eye. Shit! When the sun is shining on it. When the sun is shining! But you were close, you were close. I did a good one with the trick question. Okay, he's doing pretty good. See, I told you. How many nationalities does Curacao have? Woo! Is it A, 15? 15. 50. 50. 50. Is it B, 20? Or is it C, 60? God damn! <laughs> 60 looks a little bit too much. Okay. 50 all I'm gonna say 20. I don't know why, but 50 and 60 looks too much. The correct answer is 50. 50! 50! 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 5 0. 5 0. Curacao has a total of 50 nationalities co cohabiting together that through time has found their way on the island. Damn! That's a real. That's a lot. It's a real. Melting pot, huh? Diversity. Yeah. 50. 50. How many languages do you think most locals speak? Is it A, 2, Papiamento and Dutch? Is it B, 3, Papiamento, Dutch and English? Or is it C, Papiamento, Dutch, English and Spanish? Or D, 
Papiamento Dutch, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. I would say the one with Spanish because I but, think. But I have two with Spanish in it. So is it oh, wait, Papiamento wait, wait. Dutch, English, and Spanish? Yes, I think it's that one. It's the one without the Portuguese because I think. Y'all go a lot to Colombia, right? We do. And that is Spanish. Yeah. I think they speak there. I know that Brazil is Portuguese, but they could also go there. Venezuela is Spanish too. Mm -hmm. They also go there a lot. I'm gonna stick to C. Yeah. C is the correct answer. Papiamento, Dutch, English, and Spanish. I came to understand that uh, we do have like a lot of Portuguese people there as well, like but they the, run supermarkets and stuff, but it's not that common under the people, the, the pop, population? Yeah. Under the population itself or the, the local people? I, to think, be speaking I think they speak a lot more Portuguese in Suriname than in Curaçao. Do they? We are at the border with Brazil. There are a lot. Oh, all... yeah. Didn't I bring you where the Brazil people live? There are a lot. There are no, a I lot. So, but Portuguese is. It's normal to hear Portuguese in. Uh, I see. Yes. Mm. And if that was the fact in Curaçao, I think in the slang, you would hear a lot more Portuguese also. Yeah. From yeah. Curaçao. Even though you do, though, because. But like, not uh, that much. No, but like last two weeks ago when I went to the wedding with uh, Ida and Anna. Um, I could understand everything. But understand. But maybe it's because. Um, it's close. Yeah. Those yeah. two, Spanish and Portuguese, are close. But yeah. I don't. I can. I. I know a few Portuguese words. Mm -hmm. So, but when I hear an, um, you guys speak Papiamento, mm -hmm. also other Italian people, you don't really hear that Portuguese uh, influence. Mm -hmm. If I can, if I can say it like that. That's why I think that it's on the. It's not a, a really. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I with Spanish also. I reckon I can understand everything, and with Portuguese as well. But Spanish is like most common, I would say. Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Who is the swinging old lady? A. A lady that swings all over the town, dancing and entertaining. People? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> is it B? Every grandma is called the swinging old lady, or is it C? The swinging old lady is the name for the iconic Emma Bridge that connects Punda to Otra Banda. Ah! Can it move? That bridge? I don't know. You need to give me some clues, Jenny. I don't. I never been there. Okay. Okay. If it connects, okay. If it moves. How do you mean if it moves? Can it? Is it turning? Yeah. Okay, that's that's my answer. So what is the answer? Um, the bridge that connects Punda and yeah, that's the correct answer. I think that's why they call it swinging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were honestly, I did a good job with yeah, the did. trick. Did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had such a good time like making the fake answers. Okay. What is the lowest temperature ever recorded? Is it on Curacao, of course? Yeah. Is it A, 19.7 Celsius in on January 2nd, 2014? Is it B, 24 Celsius on December 31st, 2013? Or is it C, 20 Celsius on January 5th, 2012? I would say 19 mm -hmm. because I think we get 20 in Suriname too, so... If you guys are on an island, I think 20 would be common. Or mm -hmm. no, maybe not normal, but I think that in the when it's raining, mm -hmm. usually it gets colder. So I think that 19 would be the lowest. Yeah, you're right. Okay. The correct answer is 19.7 Celsius on January 2nd, 2014. Don't don't look! Don't look! No. No, no cheating. All right. You're doing good. All right. You're doing good. All right. 
What is the name of the only certified restaurant that is allowed to serve iguana on the Iguana. Pizza? Is it A, Yanchi's? Is it B, Bubuchi? Is it C, Ana Iguana? <laughs> <laughs> It's not C. <laughs> or is it D? No restaurant is allowed to serve iguana. I think it's D. I think it's D. The correct answer is Yanchi. Yanchi, no? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But C is. <laughs> but an, um, iguana is a uh, protected animal. In, it is, yeah. In Suriname, too. Oh, okay. With yeah, us that, that's why I think that nobody was really certified because mm -hmm. they are only allowed to to hunt them in a certain season. Mm -hmm. So I think um, Yanchis is allowed to. Yeah. And now you have that the iguanas or iguana that they are a lot like way too much. So now they're gonna start certifying more restaurants. So. You will be getting like more restaurants that will serve iguana. But that will be that will that will be for a certain period. Yeah, maybe. Because when they get less, then you need to stop again. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I read. So I don't know. But the correct answer is yanchis. 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 That was A. Yeah. But you can really eat iguana there. Yes. What what? How is it made? Uh, with soup or with stew, I think. Not curry. I don't know carry, but like I, they make a stew out of it. But, but can you go and buy it like just a... Uh, the dead iguana? Yeah. No. no. So you need to eat it there? Yeah, you need oh, to eat okay. it there. They will prepare it for you. Okay. What is the name of the Netflix series that introduced Curacao to a lot of people recently? Is it A. Casa de Papel? Bon bon. Is bon it bon. A? Bon bini. Bon bini. Fan Yandino. The Netflix. Bombini is not on Netflix. Yes, it is. But I don't ruin my thing. Bombini is in that. I, I watched it. With Yandino. Part 1 and part 2 are on Netflix. Okay, but that's. Anyways. Okay, go on. Let me see. Is it Casa A, A, Casa de Papel? B, Narcos? C, Bala? Or D, Queen of the South? Not Queen of the South. We saw that. Okay. So is it Casa de Papel, Narcos, or Bala? I think Bala. Bala. I don't think it's Casa de Papel, otherwise I would mm. hear of it. The correct answer is Narcos. 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 What was it about? Drugs, of course, but it's a very bad rap, people said for Curacao. I'm not gonna state my opinion on it. But listen, mm -hmm. was there someone dealing drugs there or was it just the... Uh, because, like, Curacao is just like Suriname, I think. It's yeah. like door yeah. food. I have no idea. But I need to watch the series for myself because this was new information to me. As but well. what did they say? That Narcos was, uh, Curacao was, um, wait, that most people now know Curacao from Narcos because it made an appearance in there. But Curacao has stated that it's a bad, the series is a bad rap and that there was no actual like filming for Narcos there. Yeah, so that's I, true. So I need to watch that. I don't think it's. But most people know it because it was mentioned in the Yeah, I, I understand it. I understand it. But I think like, um, I don't know how it is now, but I know that Suriname and Curacao, they were seen as... Um, Narcotics? No, but it's not like they were making it there. It was just they were using it as to like, you know? Like ship stuff. Yes, yeah. that, like to, yeah. not That's even true. ship. Some ships they like, like a smuggling uh, station. smuggling routes. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. That's, very, that's true though. But um, and not even really smuggling. They were just passing through there. They would like use it to stop there the ships. Let's say the ships are loading in Brazil or where, and then they are going through Curacao. Mm -hmm. But maybe sometimes they would they would say like like uh, the ship is from Curacao or something like that. And then when it gets to the destination and they get it, mm -hmm. then. They act like it's from Curacao. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened in Narcos, but... Neither do um, I. I need to watch it because I'm curious now. But I haven't heard Curacao long in drugs things. Yeah. So, that's bad. That, that's really that's bad. That's very bad rap. Yeah. <laughs> what is Curacao's main source of income? Tourism. A. Coconuts. Uh -huh. B. Petroleum. Ooh. C. Palm pot products. 
or D, salt fish? Salt fish. I would say salt fish, petroleum, um, coconuts, and what's the other one? Palm products. Palm products. You, you call three palm things. No. Pa coconuts, palm products, salt fish. I would say salt fish since y'all are in the sea. Y'all are salting fish, eh? <laughs> what is the answer? Petroleum and tiny. Y'all have such a big thing. I, I knew it. Weren't they having a protest? Isla. Yeah. Isla. They were having a protest, right? Rafinaderia Isla? Yeah. Yeah. They shut it down, right? They Last did. year? Or? Yeah. Oh. So I don't Damn. know what's gonna happen. Is it that big? Yeah, it is that big. Yeah. Damn, Kira so? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I need to look that up. Mm -hmm. oh, what's the name? Rafinaderia? Raf Rafinaderia Isla. Oh, that's the name of the. the I don't know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. The, the plant. Yeah, the plant. Yeah, that's the correct thing. Wow. Interesting, huh? So, y'all are exporting petroleum for on big scale. Yeah. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't know that. I really thought it was tourism, was the main. I thought so too. But apparently not. And what place is tourism? Second. Is it really second? Yeah, second. I think, according to the article that I've read, Tourism is second. And petroleum is first. Yes. That's good. That's really good. Mm. Curacao has the oldest Sephardic Jewish synagogue in the Western Hampshire. However, the synagogue is covered in sands. Wow. Why is this? Is it A, to tie in the beach team of the island? Is it B, to walk in on bare feet? Or is it C, for the early Jewish settlers on the island to practice Judaism in secrecy? I really don't know, but I would say... So is it A? A. I would say A. A, to yeah. tie in the theme of the beach on the island. Yeah. It is C, for the early Jewish settlers on the island to practice Judaism in secrecy. So that they cut, could come in and nobody would hear them on the sand. Ah, I didn't know that. Y'all have a Either synagogue? Yeah, we do. Where is it? In Punda, in the heart of the center. How is it covered with sand? Is it covered with sand or it just has the color of... No, the, the floors. Oh, the floor. You didn't say that in the question, Jenny. Yes, I did. Curacao has the oldest Sephardic Jewish synagogue in Western Hampshire. However, the synagogue is covered in sand. The synagogue is covered in sand. Oh, okay. No, well, sorry, I meant the floors. Ah. No, don't 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 be like that. But all right, I have it wrong. This yeah. one. Yeah. With the help of Jenny. We're almost at the end, Benny. So, next questions. What is considered a naked building on Curacao? A <laughs> white <Like> building. <laughs> <laughs> is it A, a building that still needs to be constructed? Is it B, a building that features the original stones and isn't plastered and painted in a bright color? Uh... Or is it C, a building that is only plastered? A naked building. Mm -hmm. How was the, you know Brita? Mm -hmm. He showed me a picture of a, a, a house. Yeah. What, what was it called again? I don't know. What, what uh, it looked like a hut with the stones and the palm, the palm roof. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kunuku. 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 Yeah, Kunuku. Is that it? No. Okay, then I would say B. B? A building that is that features the original stones yes. and isn't plastered and painted in a bright color. Yes. That's the correct answer. Yes. All right, Benny. You you isn't dumb, isn't you? <laughs> Native sense. Okay. What does douchey means? Is it A. Sweetheart. B. Tasty. C. Beautiful. D. Nice or good. Or all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> I'm douchey too, right? No, I'm douchey. No, I. 
douchey. We both are douchey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is the official official currency called? Is it? Ang. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have to continue. Ang. Um. The Netherlands Antil builder. And that is the end of our little trivia. I think you did very, very well. You knew so many of the questions. Where does your knowledge come from? Common sense? No, I didn't History know class? Just those things. Huh? If you listen to the questions, you know what the answer is. Okay, so it be. wasn't difficult enough. It wasn't really difficult. But it was, it was interesting. It okay. was interesting. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, especially the petroleum thingy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. And uh, also the name Curacao. I didn't know that also. That is from the uh, Portuguese. Yeah, but you had it. You I had, had it. the answers right, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when I'm editing, I will make sure how many answers you have right. But yeah, I think you did so, so good. You but, know uh, almost everything. Uh, what more? Um, I also didn't know that you guys had Portuguese people there. Mm -hmm, we do. And, and 50 nationalities. Yeah, the nationalities. That's crazy. Yeah. And uh, uh, the colorful building thing, building thing. Yeah, that was also. But I was always wondering, like, how did you guys? Uh, but are they normal people? Like, because what are the, normal people, Benny? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna say now, cause. The, the colorful houses, most of them are in the city, right? Everywhere. But I think it got Curacao when it comes to those colorful houses. It got us on the map. Uh, did it? Yes, it did. But it's the ones in the city that got you guys yeah, on the mostly, map. Yeah, mostly because normally when they feature them, it's the ones at in the, the Humble Scattered. Yes, the that's what I mean. Yeah, because you always see the same picture if you ask. So what I mean with normal people, yeah, everybody's normal. Are they just people living in Curacao that have houses like that? So can I go in a neighborhood and just see a whole street with those colors? Colorful houses. Yes. That's um, what I mean with yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah, so, you can. Oh, there are people? Yeah, there are, there are. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's not only that one street? No. Okay, no, that's what I mean with... Multiple streets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, over the... Uh, all the over the, yeah. the whole country? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, amigas, now I'm going to reveal my, the price that I want for this trivia. And I'm really happy with my price. It's by who is it by? It's by Concept Statement. Oh, thank you so much, Concept Statement. But this is my price, amigas. Look, this is what I want. It says, what does it say? It says God Child. Mm -hmm. I can't really get a good angle on it, but it says God. Thank you, Concept Statement. I'm really happy with my price. And uh, yeah, I am God's child. So now from now on, I can buy child tickets when I go somewhere. <laughs> right? Children's ticket. Children's ticket, yes. Okay. Ah. And when they come and stop you, they will, you will just show them your necklace. What a pleasant surprise, Jenny. I really didn't expect this from you. Uh -huh. But actually, it is for a giveaway for you guys. It's for the Amigas, Benny. It's for the Amigas because we reached 3K on Instagram and almost we're almost at 4K at on YouTube. I need to go. No, you don't. <laughs> I need to go. Benny, name me premium. Name me premium. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give away my my my, my prize that I just won. <laughs> amigas, you can win my prize. Yeah. Okay, I want it, but I want to give it away. Away. Okay. And um, you can match with me, kinda, because I have the Trusting God version. Let's see. You have the God Child one, bro. No, I have the Trusting God. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. In the back, it also has Bible verses that you can do. So I think this is really, really unique. Um, and yeah, rules for the giveaway. Rules for the giveaways. Giveaway are... Give a thumbs down for Benny in the comments. All right then, give a thumbs down for Benny in the comments. In yeah. the comments, not an actual thumbs no, down no, on no, the video. No, no, because it's gonna mess up your yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, rules for the giveaway are that you need to be subscribed to this channel. You need to follow me on Instagram. Follow Concept Statement on Instagram. And leave me a comment down below 
And what should the comments say? Tell me in the comments down below what you like about Curacao. What you like about Curacao. And comment also the word enter so I know that you are entered in the same comments. Can I participate too? Of course you can. So one more time, be subscribed. <laughs> I need to let you in. Okay. <laughs> and if I don't win, we have a problem. You wanna fight, no? So I'm gonna repeat the read the the, 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 the <laughs> I'm gonna repeat the rules of the giveaway. Be subscribed to this channel, follow me on Instagram, that is at Jennifer Ross, follow concept statement on Instagram, that is at concept statement, everything will be linked also in the description box. And leave me a comment down below with the word enter and what you like about Curacao. Alright? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let us also know if you want to see maybe a part two. Maybe we can do it that you guys sent in the questions for Benny and for me. Maybe that could be fun. That we both need to answer the question for a second trivia. Because I feel like this one was a little too easy for you, wasn't it? But how are they going to send the questions to you with the answer? Then how are you going to participate? Oh shit, yeah. That's... You're a fraud. No, I'm not. Or, yeah, that's difficult. Okay, you know what? Just send in questions. Like, let me know. We're, we'll figure it out if we should even do a part two. And they can send in questions just for you then. Or you for me. That you can test me on my knowledge. You. you. <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, Amiga. I hope to see you soon in the next video. And make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time. Mwah! Wanna be sa wanna be sa Wanna be sa bit to Wanna be sa nan. Wanna be sa ba? Bisaya amiga nan. Bisaya amiga nan ki pabo. Pabo kai cha. Bisaya amiga nan dan. Amiga, amiga, thank you for watching again and we will see you in the next video. Yes. All right. Bye. Ayo. Hey. Rekha video yani? I hope so.